watch a break-in over the weekend in D.C. Three in the heart of Georgetown. That's where the mayor was touting the city's small businesses today. Fox Five's Bob Barnard is live in Georgetown tonight with the story. Bob. Hey there, Kenneth. Yes, Georgetown is one of the key retail districts here in the city, but it's also a prime target of thieves. And as you mentioned, in this one block of Wisconsin Avenue, between 3.30 and 5.30 this morning, three businesses were targeted by thieves. Of course, retail theft is an issue year-round. On this Cyber Monday, D.C. officials are urging shoppers to patronize local and small businesses online or in person. Know that for some of these small businesses, the next 23 days make or break their businesses. Stacy Price opened a shop in D.C. seven years ago. Today, um, we're meeting in Georgetown. And let me be clear about this. As I say in every meeting, Georgetown is hot. But right across the street from where D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser was encouraging people to patronize the city's small businesses this holiday season, three Georgetown shops were broken into overnight. Apparently, it's a rampant problem in this area, and it makes me sick. This Greek restaurant on Wisconsin Avenue had its front window blown out. Money stolen from its safe, the thieves dressed in black and wielding a sledgehammer. Also around the same time, a corner store on Don Barton Street had its front door smashed in. $500 stolen. It affects more than just that store, that community, I think that affects everyone who is a consumer. Certainly, anytime we have individuals who victimize one of our retailers, we're all very angry about it. The mayor and D.C. police chief Pamela Smith urging businesses and shoppers to be smart and safe for business owners to use cameras to help deter and solve crimes. We've had um, some significant arrests over the last couple of days uh, with respect to individuals who have been coming into this city uh, with uh, sledgehammers um, and who have been attempting to break into some of our establishments. Um, again, it could be a... We know that this is a pattern of behavior, which is why we are posturing ourselves very differently. Adding more than 100 police recruits to help protect some of the city's retail business districts. We believe that we had to make some changes in the law around the retail theft. Um, and we were able to include that as part of the secure D.C. legislation um, that allows MPD to bring more substantial charges and gives the prosecutors what we need. MPD saying they've made more than 1,000 retail theft arrests already this year. And Chief Smith was asked, what do you do if you happen to witness a robbery? You're there when it's happening. Should you get involved? The answer, she said, is no, you don't want to get involved. You don't want to get hurt. Just call police and report it to them. Guys.